Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got big news, starting with Intel's 10th gen catching up to Ryzen 3000, an upgraded Ryzen CPU, and AMD officially announced two new Ryzen CPUs as well as the B550 chipset. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as MassDrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first drop made item. So head to the link in the description below. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, a few new benchmarks for Intel's upcoming 10th gen CPUs show that the company is giving their all with these new processors. The benchmarks were originally found and shared by Tom Apisak, and as you can see, they're Geekbench benchmarks of Intel's i7 10700K, i5 10600K, and 10600KF. When it comes to the actual scores, Intel's 10th gen did fairly well. For one, the 10700K got a multi-core score of 34,133, while the 10600K got a score of 28,523, and the 10600KF scored 28,673. As usual, it's tough to compare benchmarks without doing them yourself since there's a huge range of scores with every CPU. But when we look around the middle of the pack, the comparable Ryzen 3000 scores puts the Ryzen 7 3800X around 35,600, which definitely beats the 10700K. Looking at the 3600X, it scored just over the 10600K and KF around 28,800. Basically, Intel's 10th gen really looks to be trying hard to catch up to 3rd gen Ryzen, which is honestly impressive. I mean, they definitely won in single core scores, and if they're able to get close in multi core scores, depending on the price, some may be worth it. Then again, we are still talking 14 nanometers here, so Intel will definitely be pulling far more wattage. Which reminds me, don't forget to check out the 14 nanometer plus 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 squared shirt in the description below. Plus, with all of that said, 3rd Gen Ryzen is a year old now, and AMD is planning their 4th Gen desktop Ryzen release this year. So while Intel may be able to compete for now, that likely won't last for very long. Next up for today, it looks like AMD is continuing their trend of upgrading older CPUs with Ben Zen 2 parts with the AF designation. This time, it's the Ryzen 3 1200, which recently made their way to a few German retailers for as low as 54 euros, which is about $60 US. As you can see in the listing, this CPU is codenamed Pinnacle Ridge, so it is using the updated Zen Plus 12 nanometer architecture. What's interesting is that like the last time this happened, prices seem to get much better than they were before. Either way, $60 certainly isn't bad for a CPU like this, and given it may even have the chance to get higher clocks, it could be more worth it than ever. Of course, we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Luckily, that's not all AMD has done for their Ryzen processors, as the company just officially announced two new Ryzen CPUs. And while I actually just covered these in a recent video, that was just a leak. This time it's official, and if you hadn't guessed, I'm talking the Ryzen 3 3100 and 3300X. That's right, the first Ryzen 3 3000 CPUs. As far as the specs, they're exactly what Momomo underscore US leaked out. Both processors come with 4 cores and 8 threads, which is an upgrade from previous gen Ryzen 3s, and really, I think it's a huge sign of how well AMD has helped the CPU market progress. Remember, just three years ago, Intel's mainstream desktop i7 was 4 cores and 8 threads. Now we're looking at being double that with 10th gen Intel, and it's now AMD's cheapest parts. Anyway, back to the specs, we can see the 3100 comes with a base clock of 3.6 GHz and a boost of 3.9, while the 3300X gets a 3.8 GHz base clock and a very impressive 4.3 GHz boost. Both come with a huge 18 megabytes of L3 cache, and what's really interesting here is that while they didn't give us much in the way of gaming performance, AMD does claim that the Ryzen 3100 beats Intel's comparable chip by 20% in gaming and a whopping 75% in creative workloads. Of course, it's best to wait for third party reviews, but those are seriously impressive. And speaking of, I will be getting one or both for review, so make sure to subscribe to the channel to see how they stack up. Of course, with that said, Intel's 10th gen parts seem to be moving up in core counts as well, so things may change a bit when those release. Also, the two processors don't look to be OEM only parts, so they should be available to the DIY market come their release, which I'll get to in a minute. 
But before that, AMD also announced the long-awaited B550 chipset. And while they didn't say much about it, AMD did finally confirm that it's coming with PCI Express 4.0. Of course, while the board has been rumored to include it, with the OEM only release of the B550A only getting PCI Express 3.0, it was somewhat up in the air. Now, when it comes to release dates, AMD has officially stated that the new Ryzen 3000 processors will be available to purchase on the 21st, with the B550 set to launch on June 16th. Basically, while they're not too far off, they're still a bit of a wait. So while that does it for today, are you excited for more powerful budget CPUs or are you just ready to jump on the PCI Express 4.0 train for less? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.